Okay, I really get tired of seeing this, but this morning we woke up to a flat, a flat tire. This tire's been going low every night. I gotta get it fixed. So we're gonna do a we're gonna do a cold start on the old compressor and see if we can get this tire aired up. Let's give her a go here. That choke's almost frozen. Choke it. Pull the cardboard off the muffler. Let's give her a go. day marathon the snow removal and as you can see the berms are built this is my driveway coming into my house they haven't even hardly plowed it this guy my neighbor he, he can't even he's not even getting out of his driveway a lot of these guys aren't even they're not going nowhere We're just doing the best we can. It looks like we're gonna get a couple, a, day, a break for a couple days. So we're gonna be spending the next few days just cleaning everything up. That's all we're gonna be doing, cleaning all this stuff up. That's like the front porch. Like it's getting ready to collapse. Fucking idiot. So on this property, we had an ice dam form on Mammoth Creek and basically diverted the creek into this guy's garage. So we had to come over here and clear this out so the creek can go back into the creek. All the joys of a day's, a day's work. Well, we got that roof cleared. Actually, I don't know if you can see it, but my guys are still over on the bunkhouse. What a hell of a day. And that roof was heavy. We found it. It's right there. It's already, it looks like it already had a plug, but any way we can get this thing plugged, because I've been airing it up twice a day and it's still going low. Mike went down to Bishop and we actually were able to find a belt. Not the right belt, but it's gonna work. We bypassed the air compressor, the air conditioning on it, because that was locked up, so. We don't really need air conditioning up here, so I may not ever put that back on, but all I know is I got my loader up and running. We're gonna take him to our job and start pushing some snow. Loader pulling up. These guys, we got them all opened up this morning cut around all the car. That looks pretty good. Owen did that, so he did a good job. A lot of neighborhoods look just like this, you know, that it's just like a tunnel coming down through here. So we got tunnels everywhere that we're building. I just saw Owen right here. I thought he was still here. Did I miss him? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Over here. Uh, can you come over here real quick? I want to show you this over here and then we got to get over to Crystal Villa as quick as possible. There's like everybody's stuck over there. Yeah, I, I forgot to do 31 Evergreen, so we'll go run back up there real quick Nice too. hat, bro. Yeah, I know, right? You want to talk about a roof? Actually, she told me she wanted us to come over here and clear this roof um, next week, but if, if we can. Yeah, read your text, man. So, here. 
what you're gonna do in here, you get in here, and you literally come in and you're just gonna go up and down and then inch forward, up and down and inch forward. All? Huh? Where am I gonna shoot it all? That way and then back over there in that corner. So you can throw it up here as much as you can. And then once you get a little further down, you're gonna go over that way with it. And you can go all the way to that building. You can be two feet from that building. So they can't even get in their apartment. I mean, this is their- Got stuck, huh? Yeah, I think they put this berm up to keep people from going back here. Well, I tried to help them, but they didn't seem too talkative, so. This guy right here, Owen Atwood, master operator. Got himself in a pickle, it looks like. So, of course, he's got to call dad to the rescue. I don't know if I'll be able to drag you out. I'll try. Get out. Get over here and hook me up right here. All right. Well, let me see how close I can get. So he's kind of angled in here like that, which is kind of going to be a trick to get him out. So I put the shackle over there on that corner. And then what I'm going to try to do, it's not really a bouncy setup, but I'm just going to try to bounce on him a little bit. Hopefully not snap that strap and uh, see if we can get him to move. Machine, and I'm going to raise up, raise up your uh, like four feet. I want it up high because you got a lot of snow right here. You'll feel me. You'll feel it. All right, so we're... Like literally just enough room to get the Jeep in here. I'm hoping it'll pull him out. We'll see what happens. Ugh. He's got that up. Boy, that, that wall collapsed. Really buried him in there. Let's see, if, let's see if I can do this without snapping this rope. Try it again. One more time. Well, we're definitely getting them straightened out, so just keep doing it. Oh, broke the rope. So I went home and I got the, the bouncy rope and I think I can give him a, a lot harder pull with that. Somebody needs to call Heavy D, Sparks, or Matt's Recovery for me and see if they'll come up to Mammoth and help me do some recoveries. <clears throat> but until we get some help from them, we're going to see if we can get him out on our own. All right, I'm gonna get it tight and then I'm gonna come forward and give it a real good, a real healthy pull, so. Got traffic to deal with also, so. Here we go. No, oh, almost, okay. I think we're gonna get it. give her a good one this time. We'll either pull the front bumper off or get out. Oh baby, got her. Looks like old Bud and Sadie are plumb tuckered out. They definitely had a hard couple days of running around in the snow. So they need their doggy rest. Getting get ready to do some more running around. Well, they're not really even able to keep up with the roads too good but uh it's just been steady coming down hasn't stopped it's just been like this since we woke up 
a little heavier at times and then sometimes a little lighter but anywhere from a half an inch to an inch and a half an hour steady through tomorrow yeah it's a full-time job just keeping these vehicles trying to keep them dug out we got the flatbed over here last night we had it cleaned off so that'll show you right there how much snow we actually got since last night that's that's definitely well over two feet i mean easily easily 30 inches and it's still just coming down this has all been cleared since you know multiple times so as you can see it's it's full white out and everything street all of it so you know they're gonna run down and play with that dog Come on, let's go. Well, as you can see, He's probably got close to four foot or more on top. And our sleds, the two little bumps, they've slowly disappeared. So unfortunately we'll have to be digging those out again. Let me see your face. You got snow on your face. So, <clears throat> pretty deep, like up past my knees, right through there. But uh, Mammoth PD just issued a, um, basically a stay at home. You know, they're asking everybody just to stay at home because they can't get around either until Wednesday morning. So we got another at least another foot coming tomorrow and then whatever we still get for tonight uh coming down here to see zach got stuck in his driveway so we're gonna tug him out with the uh skid steer real quick Zach got stuck in the driveway. <laughs> Gonna see if we can jerk him out real quick. Get a little tug with the chain and see if he comes out. Back up a little. Mike. Back up just a back up a little. Right there. That's good. got one the same way or is that got a big hook on it okay all right pull it tight go ahead and pull it tight come here Sadie ciao Got him right. 
that out pretty easily. Oh, 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 oh. That'll work. Come on, Sadie. Sadie, come on. All right, I think we got him out. Gonna get up. Hmm? Sadie? You gonna get up? Come on. See how bad it is out here. Oh yeah. And it blowing right in there on the wall last night. Mm, it's pretty deep. The wind's been blowing it around a lot. You can see that much. Sadie. Sadie. What do you got? Hmm? What do you got? Other things <clears throat> shut down pretty good. Looks like they did get the road pushed out. Just gonna have to do some digging out to get the car out. But uh, got everything warming up. The wind is just really blowing, blowing it all around. It's gonna be fun today, I'll tell you. All right, well. Another cold start video. This thing's been sitting for a minute. It's really cold. Okay, so it's four o'clock in the morning. This blower's messing up. 
don't know what's going on here, but the chute's not working again. We had the same problem. I think it was on that machine. So now we switched it. Let's see if we can uh, get this thing going here. I have again, I'm thinking this is the same machine. No left. Can't turn left or go up with the chute. It wants to, it'll still try and go right. And it still tries to go down. But, uh, so it's stuck all the way down and it's turned all the way to the right. Wow, the sun popped out. Still a little windy, but, uh, feels nice to have that sun. Even if it's only going to be for a short time. Uh, the forecast is showing it's it's heading this way. Actually, you can kind of see it in the mountains there. So, uh... It's gonna start dumping again here shortly. It's coming. You can see it coming over the top. So Mike's bucketing up, Mike Bakersfield Mike. And then we got Mike Zen project manager over here he's running the blade and we're just pushing all the snow anywhere we can push it right now because we're we're losing space fast okay so got to get out of the garage here and of course it's been a while since we've had a failure. So on the John Deere, we had a hydraulic line break. So Mike and I are gonna pull that off right now. See if we can't get Napa to make us a new one. So we got so much ice build up. That's what happens when you don't clean the ice out, kids. <laughs> can't even get the damn hose off because there's so much ice built up in there. And he's got the ax in there right now. We got the other side loose. Have to get a trash bag, put it, put that hose in a trash bag, I think. Got it? Yep. So it looked like something got murdered here. Hydraulic fluid everywhere, but we'll get that cleaned up and we'll get this hose replaced and get it back on the, <laughs> back on the, on the trail. On the... All right. Drag here. Some stuff in there. We're gonna head down to Napa and see if they can save us. Looks like about, said anywhere from 16 to 20 coming in tonight, or this afternoon, I should say. Oh, I gotta shut the garage, huh? <clears throat> I'll do it. Yeah, get up. Well, the dogs are happy. Just getting a little break. Sun kind of popped out. Pretty nice. City and Bud are gonna play for a minute and we're gonna see if we can get some over to Napa. Hopefully they'll be able to make us a hose. Shouldn't take too long. And we'll get this thing back up and running. So as usual, when it rains, it pours. Uh, we noticed these, these resistors here, or whatever they're called, they're like little solenoids, but um, it was all bent. So I don't know if he damaged it last night, but that one right there. And I've seen these go out on my, uh, on the excavator. So I'm kind of wondering if it could be one of these two things. Uh, they got some ice dams starting on there 
Now we're back at our favorite spot, warming hut. I'm gonna have a little lunch, wait for that hose to get fixed, and get back out there. Okay. All right. So, well, let's see. Here's the new hose. Which end is the? I think it was. So Joe here is going to fix up our hydraulic hose for us. Now that smells good. <laughs> there we go, good as new. Now we got a spare. And we're all set. Thanks a bunch. These two. I'm gonna try to unplug these on this one. Are they all bent up like the other one? No. I mean, these are these are bent up a little bit. Yeah, they're they were they were down like that. That's how they were. Let's see if we can unplug those. How's your day going? Uh, looks like the weather's coming in. We're gonna try to establish a problem with this blower right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna swap these these uh, relays out, these two relays. So I'm gonna go fire this one up. Let's see if we can swap these relays out and make this thing work again. And then we know that that's the problem. So we're gonna find out right now. Okay, so Mike just swapped those out. So we're gonna turn on that. Turn the blower on. Automatic. Nope, it's definitely not that. That's not a good thing. Well, we were hoping it was that. <laughs> huh. So this thing's got us kind of baffled. Well, the only other thing we can do now is let, let's switch them over real quick, just to make sure. Let's put this blower on that machine. Okay. All right. Wake, wake this guy up over here. Time to get up, bro. For me, G. We're gonna, uh, you guys are gonna work on those shoots, you and Mike, and I'm gonna go do some bucketing. So let's take a look outside here. We're getting a little dusting so far. Can't really see, but got the, uh, truck's got a little dust on them it's uh supposed to come in pretty heavy here in a couple hours so i'm gonna go do some bucketing this morning move some stuff make some storage said 18 inches just today alone so i think we're gonna get that it looks like it's shaping up for that so let's get out there and see what we can do all right we are back office gonna be bucketing some snow this morning getting ready for this storm 
18 plus inches today. Uh, I gotta get some piles pushed back. Here's a big one right here. Well, this was that truck we looked at last night. <laughs> Looks like he still hasn't got it quite out yet. So I'll try to help. Maybe I can use my bucket to uh, get some of that off the top. That thing's about squash. That's a three quarter ton truck and it's about squash with all that weight. So uh, definitely gotta, we gotta get that snow off there and get that thing moved. Plus it's a super tight spot right here. I'm gonna push this all back, see what we can do and we'll go from there. Got that one pushed back. We got a lot of storage out, kind of past that. I could just keep pushing that pile for, for days, so that was good to get, get this opened up. Now I can just run snow right up this ramp and just keep dumping it off the end. So now we're gonna go next door over here and do the same thing. Yeah, this loader, is definitely keeping me on my toes. So now I got this this going on. I mean, it's this snow business. It's always something. So now I got to go back to the house, see if I can figure out what what that light is. Hopefully, it's nothing too serious. It seems like the alternator's not charging, or I might actually lost my belt or something. But we're gonna check something real quick and then if we can't figure it out. As luck would have it, you can see right there, we lost the belt. I have to get that belt off. I don't know what happened, if that alternator froze up or what. See if you can turn that alternator right here, pull that lever right there, and then just flip that down. And see if that alternator's locked up, just turn it with your hand. No? Well, what the hell? How about that pulley? How about that pulley right there? Well, I wonder what caused that belt, caused it to throw that belt. It's a brand new belt. I just put this belt on. Is that one locked up? Yeah. Looks like we're gonna be on a wild goose chase for a belt today. Well, here's the belt, split right down the middle. I mean, I'll tell you, it literally. And then we're out here, we're working on this chute, got the guys, we're gonna pull it off and grease the bottom just to make sure it'll, uh, it's got some extra lubrication there. Seems like it's kind of binding up a little. Still, we, uh, I don't know if it's Is this the one we redid? Yeah. So you can see the teeth. They still look pretty good. They're not the best, but uh, we're gonna put grease underneath. So that it'll, hopefully that'll uh, allow it to kind of float and free float and it'll, it'll, uh, it'll turn a lot more freely and we won't have to deal with it. But it's starting to snow, so we gotta make sure I mean, we gotta have this equipment running stuff. On that one, the belt's off, so I'm gonna call around and see if anybody has one. It's unlikely that Napa would have one up here, so probably going on a little road trip, grab a couple belts, and get back up here before it gets too bad, so I can have that thing up and running. Because without that running, that's our lifeline. This bucket right here, this is everything. This thing moves so much snow. These little guys, they do a lot, but when it comes to the heavy lifting, we gotta have this big boy. That's the bad boy. Plowing us, widening out our road. That's the big boy plow. You can see the path that he left. Widened her out nice and good. Pretty cool. Yeah, so we're gonna heat it best we can. See if we can't bend, give it some bend and get 
here been back into shape. fixing something around here, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, they thought I that down, but yeah. Pretty much seems like every day we're doing like open heart surgery on these machines to keep them going. This one here, he had a, <laughs> he hit something and bent the shit out of that. So we just got that welded all back together. And then we noticed on this one over here, he literally broke the shit out of that one too. So we're gonna we're gonna try to pull that bar. That piece, he's gonna cut that off and see if we can beat it flat and get it reattached. And I think if everything works out. We might have it up and running uh, about an hour before it really starts snowing. We're looking at about two inches per hour starting in about an hour. So it's kind of getting down to crunch time now. I got a serpentine belt that I threw on that. Got to go get that. Hopefully somebody in town has one or um, I can find one at Napa or something. I don't know. But, it's always it's always something up here the joys of uh snow removal and mammoth lakes gotta love it okay we got gonna get our hydraulics plugged back in we just got this uh got the old uh auger Basically bent back into shape. Lock this thing in real quick. We'll check the pins, make sure it's it's logged in, locked in. I don't like that. I don't I don't ever use my auto leveler on these. Um, a lot of guys do. I don't. I like to pretty much adjust per whatever the terrain that I'm on. So we're gonna. Ooh. This guy over here hooking his hydraulics up. Of course, he stuck the. Got the electrical plug in the snow. It's always a good thing. All right, we're gonna, uh, let's see how this thing turns. They greased it, so I'm gonna fire it up. And we're gonna turn it. Oh, that, that seems to turn real nicely. I like that. All right, I think this one's gonna be ready for the storm. Need to get that uh, red truck and trailer and go get the Mini X and get it back over to Sherwin. Did it stop? Leave it on the trailer. Sadie, what do you got there? Come on.
đấy cô ơi So this is 33 Kelly. Got all the ice dams broke. Got all the snow off the roof. All the ice dams are broken on this side as well. The top roof is already shed, except for that little piece up at the top, but that'll fall itself. It's a metal roof. <clears throat> All done. They love peanuts. Here. Mm, you missed that one. They both missed. All right. So we got Sadie. Get out of the street. Come on. Does that work? Yeah. They don't bend? No, it's solid. Have you tried them? Solid oh. steel. <coughs> My mic tapped a little beat around it to hold it in place. Yeah. Yeah, it's like impossible. To There's Alex out. He left his gloves at ACL. He's going to grab them. Um, okay. Yeah, that's how they are. Yeah. Yeah, that's how they are. 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 Yeah, that's how yeah. Not not go up against the tire. Yeah, they sit on the tire just like that. That goes over the top of the tire, right? Yeah, the tire sits up underneath this, so that these yeah, are those face to the outside. Yeah. Right yeah. So you can see. Clouds are coming in. Storm kept kind of pushing back, so we just kept an eye on it. We got about two or three inches last night, so it wasn't, it wasn't what we were thinking. But it's definitely still coming, and it shows 
Friday shows a really big day and uh, uh, starting this afternoon it's probably gonna start coming in a little heavier and we'll end up having to go out and uh, make our rounds So it's a little miserable and windy out <clears throat> and we've had that broken door on the on the loader for a while. I ordered the glass a long time ago, <clears throat> but um, we decided to set up shop here in the living room and we're putting this glass in. So Mike's just getting my frame all cleaned up. And then we've got some of this stuff here. So, window weld. <clears throat> so it's a fast setting urethane product. And now we got this pretty new piece of glass that we're gonna put in. So now we'll have a nice solid driver's side door on the tractor for the first time since we've owned it. So when I bought that, it came with uh, plexiglass. Somebody obviously had broken that. So getting the glue down, we're going to put her in, be ready to go. As you can see, folks, that weather is starting to come in and now our, all this work we've done over here at the yard is uh, going to be redoing it. So we got Clark over here with Old Faithful. Good. But uh, he's gonna get this trailer. We got a he lost a tran transmission on his truck, so we're gonna loan him the truck and trailer so we can get to get his truck down to Bishop. Yeah, just <clears throat> shut the tailgate. Um, yeah, okay. Where did so, these hook on to? She's coming in. We're gonna go help Clark. He blew, he lost a tranny. So we loaned him the trailer. We're gonna help him get uh, get his truck on the trailer. It's gonna be fun, because it's starting to get cold. Okay, so it's starting to dust a little bit. And uh, we got our buddy Clark here, Old Faithful. If you're looking for rentals up here or property management give my boy a call he'll take care of you he's he's helped us out a lot ever since we've been up here so we're gonna help him out right now we're gonna get his truck up on the trailer and uh he's gonna head down to bishop with this truck and trailer all right so we got the winch hooked up gonna get uh is that controller in the box there No, oh, I didn't even know it had that. What? I didn't know this truck had that. In the bed? In the side. Yeah. No, I've always plugged it in the back too. <laughs> Mike knows more about my truck than I do. Hey, so, you got the winch. We don't have gloves. Something on the worst possible time. So we're getting her up on the trailer. We 
get Clark down to Bishop. to the next project all right well we about got the glass install complete <laughs> funny thing is i think the or we both think that this handle doesn't actually even go to this machine because now that it's glass it's not really wanting to line up but we're gonna mess with it and see if we can't figure it out. Okay, so starting to come down a bit. We're gonna be going out probably, uh, I don't know. Talked to Carson earlier, he was saying three o'clock for them. So we'll probably go around sometime around two or three a.m. because it's gonna be doing this kind of steadily for the rest of the evening but the cool thing is there's the door so we got the brand new door or glass we used the old frame and then put the new glass in there glued it all in and really works nicely we're super pumped to have a regular door on this machine finally because it had plexiglass on it ever since we got it so it's kind of cool what are you doing Sadie what are you chewing on huh what what <coughs> huh what what <coughs> so old Betsy's ready to go for tonight everything's greased up Checked all the pins, tires. We got air in the tires. I mean, this is kind of, it's kind of nice. So fingers crossed, it's gonna be a big storm. Fingers crossed that we have no major incidents and we are able to get through this storm without too much trouble. Out here in Parlier, California, getting ready to start a new metal building for the United States Department of Agriculture this morning. Got all our equipment on site. Just waiting for the truck to show up with the metal building so we can start unloading it. All right, 1015, here we go. Borga truck rolling up. So, 1.30, second truck just showed up with all our iron on it. Look at the paint running down. Looks like they just painted these things right there. Look, paint's still wet. Look, the paint is still literally wet. So, just got him out here, 1.30. All right, guys, so <laughs> we are at our favorite spot. Again. There's Owen over there. He's not too happy right now. Oh, <laughs> wait, <laughs> do an interview? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to. Let's talk, about, let's talk about your problems. Uh, let's talk about yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Owen had to do a job that was kind of tough. Looks like it's starting to stick just a little. Yeah, I would say a good four or five inches last night of just real dry powder. So it's about almost 4 a.m. We're getting ready to go out. I'm gonna get everything fired up. 
Well, looks like we're back to some of these scenes here. Oh, bud. Bud's happy. He loves the powder. All right, guys, gonna get things fired up and get ready to go. All right. So Betty Crocker made us brownies and burritos. You can see it's the wind's blowing pretty good out there. Morning. Morning. Rise and shine. Okay, guys, so we just finished up our coffee and Bud's gonna take a little rest before we head out this morning and the guys are out. It's about just a little after four o'clock and um, Owen's out in a blower, Ed's out in a blower, Mike's in the loader. We've got um, some hand guys over at the post office. They'll be going over to shelter distilling after that. So I'm gonna get dressed and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna head out and kind of check on everybody and see how everybody's doing and uh, show you guys a little bit of uh, what's going on this morning. So stay tuned for that. That'll be on the next video. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the last day or two that we had up here. Um, we kind of wait for that storm to come in, but it didn't come in as quickly as we thought it was. It kept you know showing that it was coming and then the wind was just pushing it through. Like I, I think it was just pushing it right on through, but it looks like things are starting to stack up and uh, definitely we're in for some weather tomorrow and and today it's gonna it's pretty steady all day today and really heavy tomorrow so that'll be pretty interesting and then it looks like a pretty heavy couple of days next week early uh monday and tuesday so stick around things are going to get pretty interesting over the next few days so everything's so cold i've got to just to put air in this tire i gotta like torch everything or else I won't get any air out of my air hose. Gotta, gotta kinda heat this up a little bit, barely. Just enough to get frozen out of it. Okay. thing on these skid steers when you guys are in deep snow you gotta periodically check this rear this is how the engine stays cool if that if that thing is completely blocked believe it or not it will overheat so just keep an eye on that periodically check that when you're out in this deep stuff Make sure you don't overheat and always be watching your gauges, constantly watching your gauges. So this is like the main street coming into my house. Well, definitely looks like we're running out of room here, but I got the bucket going. This is our post office. We're gonna load it or get this thing cleared out so people can Pushing that snow, getting it all pushed out. These loading docks ready, we'll get some trucks in here, everybody get their mail. Loading docks are clear, so please make sure my invoice gets paid. Alright, here we are doing the morning grind. Gotta 
get the post office cleared out, get everybody to get their mail, get this. Get this pallet off the loading dock. I don't know why we keep working around that. We just get rid of it. It's in the way. Get it out of here. We can't do anything and it's somebody's gonna end up hitting it with the blower. We'll be just in time to see us dealing with the stupid flat tire probably. But it's it's actually holding the air okay, so but it's been a constant struggle. But we're doing the post office right now. Yeah, this is our service truck. Got a little snow on her. Got to get it cleaned off. But we're steady removing. Everywhere we go, we're just removing. Building these big ramps for storage. <laughs> because we just don't have any more room left. All right, boys. Here we go, we're getting up to Greyhawk. This is up uh, a little bit higher elevation than uh, down in town, probably 1,500 feet or 1,000 feet higher, but it's only like less than a mile away. But you'll see up here, the snow is literally like, two feet deeper than it is in town. Even though it's only like a mile away, it's like two feet deeper up here. And so I got a blower running up here. Here I come around the corner and he's trying to widen out this road. Got my boy on the blower right here. He's running. widening them out but uh, we got a serious amount of snow up here I mean look at that roof crazy right now all we're doing up here is the bare minimum just get, getting the roads widened out first just getting wide enough to get a car down and then we'll start on the driveways driveways are we got about 12 of them to do up here they're all buried everybody's buried uh, it is what it is man we're dealing with the snow we're trying to get out everybody's trying to dig out right now that's all we can do we're just surviving at this point as you can see he's got to go like a snail's pace just to get this snow moved uh, we're just widening roads right now. So get these people in and out of their home. What a view. What a view this is up here. Beautiful. That's Crowley Lake down there. We're looking at Crowley Lake. A lot of cover on that. Pretty cool. So this is up in the Greyhawk area. Like I was saying, we're about probably about a thousand feet above uh, the town of Mammoth Lakes, but literally less than a mile away. We've probably got two more feet of snow up here than we do over at Greyhawk. I mean, over down in Mammoth. You guys here, they're just building a ramp. Like, here's a ramp right here. It's built to like a 300 foot drop off. So you definitely don't want to go too far. Super cool. that snow, everybody working together to get this snow clear. It's a big undertaking. If you could imagine all of this area covered in snow and just put it in perspective like moving dirt. You gotta move the whole town basically. Insane. This guy's just bucketing snow up the road. 
over to that ramp that I was showing you. Just gotta reverse up the road and hit the ramp. It's all just moving that snow, moving that snow. I would say the snow is affecting us quite a bit. As you can see, pretty much every street in town is a one-way street. They're like barely even plowing. This is like driveways are like 10 foot tall. As you can see, <laughs> look at these roofs. I mean, that's somebody's patio right there. I wouldn't be going on that patio. But I have to cut this driveway in. And so I made my first pass through here just kind of open. But I was already here yesterday morning and had this whole thing cleared. So I got this ramp that I built running the ramp up over on top of the tennis courts so we're at like eye level with the second floor of all these buildings pretty cool all right as you can see it's a beautiful day and we are trying to get caught up so what i've done I've opened him up with the loader, come in here, made a big pass through the center. Now I've got him with the bucket. He's just gonna be cleaning in front of these garages. Very carefully cleaning in front of these garages so he doesn't mess them up. And then I'll have him stack a bunch there and then run a bunch over here to this ramp. And I'll come back and push all that stuff up over the ramp. Uh, good times.
right there. So they can get out. arrived at Cinnamon Bear Inn. Well, Mike, he's turning out to be quite the hand in the loader. So I, he's got me stuck over here in the skidster now. I'm not, I'm off loader, loader duty. I got Mike up here running the loader. So I'm going to help him out with this parking lot. Try to backtrack some of this stuff out for him. I'm just going to bucket it out for him. Start throwing it to him. See if we can work as a team over here. cinnamon bear we're pushing this place in I'm I'm feeding it he's running it down the chute it's working out pretty good right now just got to keep pushing that snow down through there that's our storage area where he's at right there just all the way to the back back there kind of see where he's piling it way back there uh, just another day in paradise. Getting stuff done. I'm gonna go over here and finish out this over here, get that over to him. Shuttle it over to him so he can run it down the chute. All right, boys and girls. Got this one all kind of polished out. Got a little bit left to do, but she's looking pretty good. Quite a bit of snow in here. And uh, now I got Mike over here running the chute. Pushed a whole bunch over here. We cleared this whole thing too. It was all about 10 or 10, 15 foot high. This loader does work. Straight does work. Mike's pretty much uh, second day operating the loader. He's really picked it up. He's doing great. Hell, I might not even want to get back in that thing after this. But uh we're looking pretty good over here. We're gonna cut this up a little more square. And after that, we're gonna get on to the next one. All right, so I'm in the parking lot. Uh, well, I'm in the parking garage, I should say, of quality here. And uh, I mean, this entryway was just so jacked up. So we're I'm having him back drag it out. See if we can back drag it out and uh, at least get it to where people can get in and out. I'll try to widen it out a bit too. Well, we called about 30 minutes ago and let everybody know. Everybody cleared the whole parking lot. Except for this one person. And now, boy, she's taking her sweet time. I mean, we have about a million places to be right now and no extra time to waste on sitting around at jobs. <laughs> oh, people, please, you gotta understand. You know, when, when we call ahead and tell everybody to get their cars out, that means we say we're gonna be there at 3.30, we're gonna be there at 3.30. So you gotta have your car out because guess what? We have 80 other, 80 other places we gotta be right now and I don't know if she's stuck or what but maybe Michael see if he'll push a little bit out from in front of her but I haven't seen her wheels even try to move so I don't know what's going on but it sure is uh, costing us a little bit of time right here all right I think we figured out why she can't get it on the breathalyzer is not working and I won't let her drive <laughs> but right on hopefully uh she's not drunk maybe one of us needs to go over there and blow in it for her well we're uh we're still waiting on the on the breathalyzer show it hold it up yeah it's not working so breathalyzer problems <laughs> uh 
Well, we're gonna be stuck here for a minute until that thing can get out of our way. Get over here to Tennis Village. I'm gonna show Mike what we gotta do here. So, we got these lower parking spots here. There's like one, two, three. Usually I'll just bucket these. I'll just, I'll scoop them and I'll, and I'll, I'll get up there where it's, and I'll dump up there. And then starting about right here, I just come in and cut, start pushing up. Basically one bucket wide is fine. And, uh, so you put, push up through here, turn, and then this is where it gets a little tricky. Oh, this stuff is heavy. So here's my snow storage that they've screwed up again. So the first thing you'll need to do before you do any of this is come up in here and start working this back. You can go back that way and then you can also go back that way, but we need to create some more room here. <laughs> so don't worry about this. Talk about some of the challenges that we deal with here this this little complex is so tight you can't hardly fit a loader in here so uh and then obviously like we're out of snow storage Almost the end of the day here, starting to get dark. We're gonna follow Mike on up to Tennis Village. And we're gonna do another one up here. And I think me and old Mike are gonna call it a night. We're probably gonna go ahead and uh, go get something to eat and maybe even have a beer or two so we can get a really good night's sleep because we are gonna be at this again tomorrow at about 4 a.m., possibly earlier, believe it or not. I know it's hard to believe, but we are gonna be at it again. So anyways, I think that's about enough for this video here. Um, it's Sunday, late afternoon. Uh, like I said, it's probably, uh, well, it's close to five o'clock and we're getting a bunch of more weather coming in tonight so it's just gonna be more snow removal come tomorrow and more of the same stuff hopefully we can keep all the equipment running mike's a pretty good hand when it comes to working on stuff welding now he's operating pretty much all around pretty good guy and uh he's one of my best friends so we've been really good friends for a long time I finally got them talked into coming up here and spending a couple weeks with me it's really hard to find good help up here you know um, I've got a really good team of guys um, but I'm always looking for you know more quality guys so anyhow I'm gonna get off of here thank you guys for watching my videos it's so awesome that so many people care about what we're doing up here and they give me all the good comments and it really encourages me to keep doing these videos and I'm definitely going to keep doing more all throughout the summer showing everybody the construction work that we do go over to Plow Brothers at Instagram follow us on there on this video here please please like and share and tell everybody um, the more views the better for us and you know it keeps that motivation going for us to share our life with you guys um, and you get a little chance to experience what we deal with up here uh, no matter where you're at in the country so again thank you to all of you guys for watching and following and just giving me great support so far it's been it's been wild with this channel because I literally started this channel two weeks ago 
and it just took off like wildfire and I never I knew what we did was interesting but I just never would imagine that people would enjoy watching it so much so thank you so much and I look forward to doing a whole bunch more of these videos so you guys can experience what what we get to experience on a daily basis and you know you can you can live vicariously through us you know and that's fine by me so hope everyone has a good weekend and we'll get you another video out tomorrow thanks